technique to me is just it's just a man it's oh, how can I make sense out of this thing for you? Um, let's say, you know, you both play, so I think you can dig this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's say that all I could do is, this is my top speed, let's assume it. this is, so I can go from here to here, that's all I got to work with. So I can be playing, playing like one, two, three, four, whatever I'm playing, mm -hmm. I don't know, it's hard to create something like this. And then... It's just not musical. Yeah, right, right. Like, like a typewriter. It's writer. like a punching bag. You know, <laughs> yeah. you can work on that all day and get knocked on your ass when you get in the ring. You know, it's the same thing here. You could, you might be, you get on a drum set and you get knocked on your ass. They hit you back. You know. Yeah. But so if I'm playing, like, all I can say is, you know, I've only got that. So the more facility you have, the more it broadens your mind because there's more things you can do. Like a lot of guys will say, oh man, I can hear all this and hear all that, but I can't play it. So that's all the technique is, is to play what's in your mind. Now, you take Mel, for example, Mel Lewis, a good friend of mine. You know, Mel will play... And then, and assemble them. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Sounds real good. I could never think of Mel playing... A, no, mm -hmm. It's not Mel, you know. The, he told me years ago, he said, I heard Buddy Rich years ago, he said, and doing all this stuff, he said, nah, he said, I figured I could never play that good, so I want to be a good service drummer. That's what he wanted to be. That's mm -hmm. what he is. Yeah. Plays good with the band. Oh, Plays great. the shit out of the band. Yeah. You know, reads anything, and he does just what he has to do. He doesn't overplay anything. Mm -hmm. So that's where he set his mind. That's what he wanted to do. So if Mel wanted to work up these chops, he'd still be playing as good as he plays, only he'd have more to work with. He'd be able to do more with it. See, if a guy like Mel had chops, uh, you know, you'd see a great difference in his playing, because mm -hmm. he'd still be able to do that same feel, but with more facility and more colors he could use and more sounds. Technique is just a matter of expressing what's in your mind. If you, if you, uh, that's the way to well, he's with he, me, you know, I, that's he, the way he, I feel about it. Mel said if you hear a guy that's playing and, is, and most of the things he's playing are very simple, right. then probably the guy has a very limited technique. It's that's it, exactly right. what I'm saying, sure. Right. Sure. Uh, it's the guy that doesn't have the chops that tries to, to get in there. It yeah. sounds like a jerk, you know. <laughs> yeah, that guy is, yeah. uh, right away, he, he shouldn't fool with that. Don't, don't, no. don't. Mm -hmm. don't, don't go into the kitchen, you know, if it's a little too hot there, and stay out. And it's just, you know, just do what you do, that's all. Now, a lot of guys go into it, like we said earlier, just with the idea, I, look at me, Ma, you know, wow, look at that, hey, what? I mean, that's childish, that's a, that's a young kid, you know, mm -hmm. the kid that comes in like this, and then within a few months he's doing that, and he says, everything, he, he's just knocked out. He says, I can play with that guy, play on the record, look at this, hey, how about that? But you're not on the record. You know? Yeah, right. Yeah. It's just it's just uh, a matter of expressing yourself.